With trainer season now in full swing in the Northern Hemisphere, people are looking for different options to mount their bikes on the direct drive trainer they've gone with. Today we're looking at the Tax Neo direct drive trainer. This also applies to the Tax Flux. They're both one and the same when it comes to converting the quick release to a through axle compatible with an adapter. Okay, what I've got today is the 142 by 12 adapter that I'm gonna show you the process of converting over. There's also a 135 by 10 adapter you can get as well if that's the kind of bike that you have. Also on the website, it indicates that the 142 by 12 is also compatible with 148 by 12. Let's have a look at the process. So last week I dropped into the Ride Cycles in Melbourne, in Australia. And here's my Tax Neo with the standard quick release mount. Looks very familiar. First thing we need to do is take out the existing skewer. And with a five mil hex key, remove this component here. And replace it with the one supplied with your through axle kit. And then snugging that tight with a 17 mil wrench. One side done, over to the other side. Effectively the same process. Can be a little tight to get that one off. Pulling that adapter out. There's quite a bit of thread on there, so you can see that. And replacing with the longer one for obviously the 142. So back in with that one and snugging that tight, again with a 17 wrench. There we have it, a little bit more width to accommodate the through axle bike. Now depending on the type of bike you've got, you have to have a look at the taper required for the plug. There's two plugs supplied there. You can see the one on the right, the one on the left. So you need to remove the through axle to find out what kind of uh, lug, I guess, or plug you have on your bike. And we can see on the through axle here, that's a tapered end or a tapered plug, I guess you call it. So we'll be using the one there on the left. Matches up perfectly. So off with the rear wheel, always easy to push the rear mech out of the way and get that chain unhooked. Another tip is to put the bike into the lowest gear possible so you know exactly what gear to line it up with when sliding it down onto the mounts there. So grabbing the axle from the kit with the correct plug end on it Inserting that, make sure it fits nice and snug. Once you've done this a few times, it's no problems whatsoever. Just sort of wiggling that around to get it in play. Okay, that's now in place. On the other side. We screw that into the other side. and snugging that tight. Job done. An important thing to remember when mounting the bikes, on the drive side here, you have to make sure it's correctly seated on the bike itself. You can see the little lip that I'll point out here. That's where the bike sits on. 
not the actual axle itself. So you have to make sure the bike is correctly seated on that lip and then you're right to go. So there we have it, the through axle conversion for the Tax Neo Smart Trainer. Also applies to the Tax Flux, as I've mentioned. So if you need to get your bike compatible with that trainer, pick yourself up one of these and it's happy days. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.